This is a story about Raven. When Raven was tiny, he lived inside an egg, like all his brothers and sisters. It was warm and safe and quiet, and he liked it there. But he kept growing bigger and bigger every day. Soon enough, the egg began to crack, and through that crack, Raven could see the world outside. It was a sky so brightly blue that it made his stomach hurt. He could hear all of the sounds of the chattering birds. He could hear animals making scary noises. They sounded mysterious and threatening. Well, Raven decided right then and there that he was never coming out of his nice warm egg, no matter what happened. How do you think that worked out for him? So he tried, right? He curled himself into a tiny ball and he made himself as small as possible, but he kept growing anyway. And whenever a bit of eggshell would break off, he would grab it with his beak or his claws and sort of put it around himself. After a while, his egg didn't really look like an egg anymore. It looked like a funny jigsaw puzzle of an egg. The whole bunch of pieces missing, but he kept staying in his egg. While all this was happening, Raven's siblings, as other baby raven chicks, broke free from their shells and they uh, ate worms and they learned how to fly. And so all around them were some extra bits of eggshell. And so Raven, our Raven, uh, grabbed those bits and used them to cover his growing body. And by this time, he looked pretty silly. It was his big feet poking out the bottom and black feathers poking out through the cracks of his pretend eggshell. <sighs> Months passed and there was Raven, still afraid to come out and still hiding in what was left of his egg. When spring came, Raven was surrounded by another batch of eggs. And eventually these eggs hatched and he had a whole nother batch of little squawking family members. Now Raven kept, was kept growing because his egg needed, which meant that his egg needed a lot of work uh, to keep him covered, or at least for him to feel like he was covered at all. Well, someone new moved into the neighborhood that spring. A family of burly, brawling, bullying blue jays. They hid in the trees, and when Mama Raven would come by to drop off some worms, they would swoop in and greedily gobble them up. And the baby ravens were too little to stop them, and Raven, our Raven, was still pretending to be an egg. So the blue jays got fatter and fatter, and the baby ravens went hungry. And Raven still loved his patched up egg, but his heart hurt whenever he peeked out at his hungry brothers and sisters. And so it was that one morning, after the jays had thumped through the nest and slurped up all of the worms like spaghetti noodles, and the baby ravens cheeped in protest, Raven couldn't stand it any longer. Something had to be done. Before he knew what he was doing, he took a deep breath and stood up. He drew himself up to his full-grown raven height, and he stretched his wings menacingly. Hundreds of bits of eggshells scattered around him like rain. He fixed his bright eyes on the biggest of the jays and gave a big, croaking caw. Leave this nest now! Now, a full-grown raven is a huge bird much larger and scarier than any blue jay, and here was one who had appeared out of thin air, as if by magic. What do you think those blue jays did? They panicked, and they tried to get out of there as fast as possible. Hooray, said the baby ravens. Hip, hip, hooray. You're our hero. Raven was so proud of himself that he forgot all about his egg. It lay in shards underneath their tree. He divided the worms among his tiny brothers and sisters and said, Oh, don't mention it. it. You're welcome. Thank you. I was, you know, I was just waiting for the right moment. And soon after that, 
Brave Raven flew away into the wide, wide world for life full of adventure. <laughs>